Today, I'm gonna to show you how to deep clean your refrigerator and get it looking brand new. Now, the first tip is to remove all the food from the refrigerator. I like to just put that in a big cooler with some ice. The other tip I always like to mention is kind of plan your refrigerator cleaning around your grocery shopping. I like to do it before I go grocery shopping, that way I don't have a ton of food in here that I'm trying to keep cold. So the first place to start is to remove all of the shelves and drawers from the refrigerator. Now I like to pull them all out and set them on the counter in the kitchen because I want them to have some time to just warm up from being in the cold refrigerator. The reason being is we're gonna put these actually in the bathtub to soak. As you can tell, uh, these ones are <laughs> quite dirty and sticky and full of all sorts of grime. So we're gonna have to let these sit for some time with some soap and water and things just to break that down. And it's better to just clean smarter rather than harder. If I was to just start scrubbing at these, could I get them clean? Yes, but just allowing them time to soak is just gonna speed that process up way faster. And I can also clean the inside while those sit. Look at that, holy mackerel. I don't know what that is. This one's not that bad. <laughs> Quick pro tip before you take everything out, if you have a refrigerator that's maybe a little bit more intricate with some of the shelving is drawers and things that need to go in a specific spot, I like to just snap a picture. That way, when I'm putting it back together, I can reference that to make sure everything goes in its proper place. A little butter compartment here, usually just push that in, pops right out. These shelves actually also pop off. So this down here usually is just pressure fit on the refrigerator and it does get dirty from time to time. So you just can kind of squeeze it and pop it out. We're gonna soak this with the rest of the drawers and things too to get it nice and clean. So now that everything is emptied out here, you're most likely gonna find some crumbs and debris in the refrigerator. Now, instead of spraying cleaner down and trying to remove them from the surface, I find that it's easier just to grab a vacuum, suck up all the crumbs and things first, and then move on to the next step. So food creators have like their cheese pull. I don't know what you would classify this for like a cleaning creator, like your grime pole. The real question is Noah, how much, how much to eat this? Uh, lunch is on me. <laughs> There's not enough money in the world. <laughs> so now that all the drawers and shelves are room temperature, you can see here, I dropped them in the bathtub. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start the water, add about two cups of vinegar to the water along with some Dawn dish soap. We're just gonna let these soak for a while, let that do its thing, and then we'll come back and give them a good scrub. So while we wait for that stuff to soak in the tub, I'm just gonna grab my DIY vinegar mix here, one cup vinegar, one cup water, and about a teaspoon of Dawn, and then come through and just spray down the entire refrigerator. Now, you can see this area is pretty nasty, so I'm probably gonna use some paper towels to wipe that up here, and it's gonna take probably a few wipe downs and scrubs and cleans. But this vinegar mix does a great job to really cut through the grime, but then also the cool thing is, is it also does a good job deodorizing the refrigerator. Vinegar is a great deodorizer. If there is any funky odors in here, this is gonna do a great job to help eliminate them. So because this refrigerator is so dirty, I also like to mix up just a bucket of my DIY with some vinegar and Dawn in there as well, just so I can keep dunking my sponge in there, and kind of get it spread around quite a bit. If it's not quite too bad, usually just spraying the mix on and wiping or scrubbing with a scrub daddy does great, but this one just needs a little extra help. All right, so I'm switching things up a little bit. I'm grabbing my drill brush scrubber here just because it needs a little more help. Nice thing is these are nice soft bristles. They're not gonna cause any damage, but this will definitely speed up the scrubbing. Now this process here is essentially just scrub, and then come through with a damp towel and just rinse the surface and pretty much repeat until you feel like it's completely clean. Again, this one is pretty bad, so it's gonna take a few of these, kind of remove everything. And then once everything is good and cleaned up, I just come through and dry and detail with a microfiber towel. So I noticed there's a few sticky spots here. I'm just gonna spray with a little of the DIY vinegar mix, grab a razor blade, just very gently scrape away at this to see if it lifts it. No pressure really here, just kind of going back and forth. Perfect, completely gone. Now you notice these kind of cracks and crevices here. Sometimes you can't get in there with a scrubber. Just grab a handy dandy toothbrush. Just give it a quick scrub in there. I always like to keep an old toothbrush in my kit because it just works so well for some of these small little areas that you can't quite get to 
and that they need a good scrub. So another tip too is to always look underneath kind of areas that you can't see initially, kind of bend down if possible because usually there's some food and grime kind of stuck in those areas. So now the inside is nice and clean, it's time to come through and scrub and clean all of the guts here. <laughs> As you can see, the water's nasty, but the gunk and things is definitely starting to lift from the drawers and stuff. So let's get rid of the water, we'll drain that, and then we'll start scrubbing and give them a good rinse and wipe down. So now that the inside is nice and clean, along with all the drawers and shelves, it's time to put it back together. Now an area that often gets forgotten in my experience is the outside of the refrigerator. Many times we focus so much on cleaning the inside that as you can see here along the edge here, there's just food and grime. And even along the handle, this is kind of an area that gets a little grimy. So we're just gonna spray that down with the DIY vinegar mix, give it a quick scrub, rinse, and it will look brand new. Now for this, I just like to use the two towel system, one that's damp to rinse, and then I just come through with one that's dry to just buff everything, get the surface nice and dried off here. But this just does a great job to make sure there's no soap or residue left behind. Sometimes you'll have a little bit of grease kind of in these little textured cracks here. You just kind of got to detail them a little bit. It usually comes right up. So the outside is clean, now for the moment of truth, the inside, this thing looks absolutely stunning. I think everything cleaned up great, and hopefully you've taken a few tips and tricks that you can use the next time you clean your refrigerator to make it look sparkling, fresh, and clean. Now I also want to give a huge shout out to the Clean Squad members over on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and allowing me to make awesome videos like this. If you want to check that out, definitely check the link down in the description below. And as always, we will see you on the next clean. Hopefully it's not another dirty fridge. <laughs>